Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and today I'm going to share with you a Christmas thrift haul and share with you how I am using the items I just purchased. So I went thrifting today, it's Saturday, I stopped at a few places, spent seven dollars and five of that is for this older handmade high chair. So I love the fact that it's white, I like the detail of the different wood and you can see the little nails. There's even a name on the bottom, maybe the person who made it. I know that my daughter will love playing with this, but I've been looking at a lot of pictures of decorated feather trees, and I've noticed that there's usually a rocking horse, a baby carriage, a baby doll, something like that under the tree. So I thought the long skinny legs would look perfect. And we have a little Victorian vignette happening there. I also have these rocking horse ornaments. Now I did thrift these a while ago, so this is the one item that is um, that I've had for a while. They're made in Western Germany, and I have some hooks. I'm going to add those to the tree. I've got the three horses on the tree, and then I also picked up some things that I think I will try and use to decorate the high chair to bring a little more Christmas to it. These were also at the flea market. And um, first thing that I found when I walked in was this wreath. I think that looks like boxwood. Um, they can be pretty expensive and I don't have that small side, size. You can see it's brand new. Then the next thing that I found that made me so excited is this beautiful angel. I've actually never come across these. A while ago I was trying to bid on one on eBay. It went up to like $50. You can see it's small but she's got glass beads on her hands. Her star is great. Her sweet face. She's so clean. And then on the back, made in, and we know it says Japan. So when I saw that, since I was on the quest for vintage, I was so excited that that's what I found. And I found kind of her sister, a little spun head playing a violin. She's in pretty good shape too. So I paid five for the high chair and then she charged me two for this whole lot. Uh, I think that this is gonna go in my corner cabinet, but that might be nice if I can figure out a way to hang it on the front or the back of that high chair. We'll see if this one. We'll just put it there. This corner cabinet is one of my favorites this year that I've decorated and I want to add her with some of the other angels that I have. So I'll add her in here. I have another angel as well. My next finds were from a collectible and antique store. It was uh, small, but very cute and clean. They had nice little displays. I love this Rudolph deer. Um, he is my sixth. I'm adding him to my collection. And she charged me $2. And then I got three boxes of ornament hanger boxes. And I paid, I wanna say they were two a piece as well. And it looks like these two are the same. It looks like they're all the same brand, but this one has more. So the box image looks different. So Rudolph is going to join his friends. There we go. And I have one down below. I think the hanger boxes are gonna go in here. I really love the deep colors uh, in this cabinet. And maybe I'll just kind of go there for now. I might try and think of something better to do. I'm going to try and think of something better to do. This last group of items I paid $15 for. First is this tissue box cover. And I actually did not realize it was a tissue box cover because John had set it aside thinking I would like it. And when he showed it to me, he kind of held it like this. So I didn't see the hole on the bottom. I just saw that it was a box and that it had the corsage. So I said, yeah, keep it up there. I'll get it. And then when he rung it up and put it in the bag, I didn't pay attention. And when I got home, I said, oh, wow. So it appears to be decoupaged, but it's not. They are just raised. Um, they do have this decoupaged border on it. Uh, and then the wrapping paper is not raised. Um, just really interesting. I don't know if this was something that was hand done or at a store, but I think it's really well done. And I love this corsage added. So originally I was gonna take the corsage off when he just showed it to me at the store, but I think it's really fun and I'm gonna keep it like that and, and put my tissues in it. 
I'm just gonna say it now, your Christmas decorating is not complete unless you have an over the top decorated tissue box cover like this. I also got another nativity set, like the last thing I need. I'm, I'm like shaking my head at myself right now, but what happened is I was walking around the store and I saw this little broken legged sheep and I liked it. I thought it was older, I could tell the material of the broken leg. And I said, I would get that and I would add it to my scenes because I don't have any that are standing. I think they're all laying down the ones that I have. So I already had this in my hand to purchase it. And when I got up to the counter, there was a bag that was $5 and it had all of these in there. And I could see that it had the matching sheep. So obviously this one had just been misplaced or, you know, they have so many boxes and stuff that they pull out um, when they do these clean outs that maybe, you know, it, it's some box that they get to and then 50 boxes down the road, then they pull out something that matches it. So I, I thought I'd probably, you know, I feel at a store, like the cheapest you're gonna pay is about a dollar for each item. So I thought, well, there's one and two, that's $2 right there. So for $3 more, I can get the rest. And I really liked the um, camel. He's a plaster probably. He's broken, but he still stands. And I'm just really into lots of camels and sheep for my nativities. And then this last piece was interesting because um, I don't have this animal, which I don't know, is that just like a steer or something? But he's got metal horns. So I knew that I wanted those animals and they'd probably be a dollar a piece. So that's $4. So I just got the whole bag. Um, it's got this blue donkey, which doesn't really interest me. Uh, I guess another donkey. So that one's made in Italy. This one is not marked anything. This is two pieces and it's plastic. Mary is broken. Um, he's got a hole. So I bet he had like a, a, a metal staff. I haven't seen one like that, but he is marked Italy. And then there is um, a wise man. So I don't think I'm going to be keeping all of the pieces, definitely the animals. And then I'll see if I need one of them to add to like a set that's missing. But the last thing I needed. I've added the extra animals to the scene over here. One, two, three, and the camel over there. There were bells. Um, I grabbed the bells because I have some putt sheep and one of them has a little bell tied around his neck and it looks very similar to this. So I figured that those were older and you can see the patina. So over here, oh, actually two of them have them. So they've got a little string. Whoa, sorry. So I thought that would be nice to add to my third sheep that doesn't have one and just to have them for crafting. Also on my Rudolph, one Rudolph that I purchased, I think it was actually maybe one of my first, has a little bit of twine and it had a bell that was added and I really thought that was nice. So I think I'd like to do that too. Not all of them, but a few. I picked up this banner and the reason why I picked up this banner was for the color and in Country Living Magazine, actually let me grab This that. is the recent edition. I am in love with this girl's house. And I found her on Instagram, the little white farmhouse on Instagram. So you can see her pictures. So what I really loved, well, first of all, look at that arch door there. She's got the sleds. Look at that. I mean. <laughs> I loved all of this and she's got a lot of these pennants I liked the numbers and then she's got silhouettes and her whole house has a white green wood metal you know I like the mix of all that but green definitely is the color that I'm drawn to um, so I, I that's why I like a lot of this stuff because her accents are in green and I think there's one other picture that has it yeah, here. So what does it say? Cedar Springs or something? So you can see all of her touches when she finds these signs and things. It's like reds and greens. And I don't know if she does that all throughout the year or just Christmas, but I'm drawn to it. I love it. 
So I was hoping to find a pennant because maybe I might consider doing a slight gallery wall in um, the stairwell that I'm redoing. So I'm getting a light green carpet. I don't see myself putting this stuff all the way up the stairwell, but there's this spot. And as I take you up there, I'll show you. Like we've got wood and white and I've got green and natural and metallic and white and green. Like I just, I love green as my accent. Um, so we've got the black and the white and soon um, I've ordered like a sage green carpet. And I've got all of this space, but I don't wanna feel like closed in. But that spot could work as a nice little area to do a gallery wall on. And that's why I picked this up because I like that green, but I'm not crazy about all the colors there. And I think I can cut it right by the M and do my own little edge. And then I can have a banner like that. The last items I found were this stack of Christmas card ornaments. They have foil, sweet little illustrations. And on the inside, I know some of them are signed and have sentiments and even dates on them. So that one is a brilliance card. Cute little gingerbread man. He's got a candy cane and some green foil. Brilliant. Some choir singers. And this one I think is my favorite, the little snowman. <laughs> he has like an actual head shape. You take off the top hat and there's a little bit of darkened glitter. I'd be as happy as I could be if you'd hang me on your Christmas tree. I think that's what actually what most of them said when you flipped them up. Yeah, or something like it's an ornament too, you see. Oh, so sweet. That one though, don't know where you would put the hook. You could just loop something through there though. And then another, that's the same. We loved your Christmas picture. Peter, Mark, Amy, and Debbie, thank you. And then this one had a date in it, <clears throat> or on it. There we go, 1950. There you go. So that is my Christmas haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing my items, hearing how much I paid for them, how I'm using them in my house, and I will see all of you in another video. Bye.